Almost there. All right, we are live. Okay, let's get started. Uh, thank you for attending the Troy Planning Commission meeting for August 26th, 2020. Please call the roll. Mr. Wolke. Here. Mayor. Yes. Mrs. Ehrlich. Here. Mr. Titterington. Here. Mr. Westmeyer. Here. Mr. Cappers. Here. Mr. McGarry. Here. All members are present. Okay, disseminated to everyone prior to this meeting was our minutes of our August 12th meeting. Are there any additions, corrections, or deletions to those minutes? Hearing none, I'll entertain a motion to approve those minutes. So move. Is there a second? Second. second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Okay, they stand approved. Okay, we've got our... Uh, First item on the agenda is the proposed major change to the RPAC, uh, their planned development. The staff have a report. Thank you, Mr. Chair. This is um, an application from the Troy Christian Schools submitted by Stephen Butler, who is their civil engineer with Community Civil Engineers. Uh, this is a major uh, revision to their existing plan development which was passed last uh, September by council, the record plan. Uh, you should have in your packet a cover letter, the application, uh, some documentation on the property showing the ownership. Uh, also, you should have uh, some maps there regarding the zoning district. Uh, and then in my staff report itself, you'll see uh, what was approved last year uh, in terms of the record plan. Um, so I'll, I'll just start and kind of go through the request. It's pretty fairly simple as a revision to the existing plan development. Uh, what Troy Christian Schools would like to do is add a 0 0.17 acre or what is uh, currently 466 South Dorset Road in lot 4958. Um, and kind of going to the second page you'll see a zoning map with the plan development for Christian schools to your, um, that's kind of highlighted in green PUD, um, located on 700 South Dorset Road and abutting the Keg Avenue to the north, 75 to the west, South Dorset to the east, including Arlington Avenue. There is um, a large lot that's 20, 24.684 acres in lot 11283 that they would like to combine with uh, 466 South Dorset Road, which they acquired earlier in the year. Um, and now wish, wish to combine those two lots. So we're looking at rezoning that from R5 single family to the planned development. Um, moving on to the uh, second page as well on the staff report, um, part of the development would include adding um, a parking lot to the plan development. So that would be the part of 466 uh, really adjacent to uh, the residential lot to the, to the south. Again, not to be confused, that's what it was in the past, but it's now, now part of the larger lot. Uh, the actual parking lot, um, those details in terms of the stormwater, uh, landscaping, uh, access from the north of the actual um, plan development, those are still being reviewed by staff. And those will be detailed in the uh, plan development plan. So I, I guess backing up for uh, the process, planning commission would look at the general plan, in this case, a major revision, and then it would go through, should it be a recommended, it would go to council. And then um, the applicant, if that's approved, would submit step two which is the plan development development plan, I guess you could call it. 
the final development plan. And then the third part would be the actual record plan. Um, also, um, the applicant would like to note that besides the development of the parking lot, there is also a monument sign. They'd like to uh, move over another 10 feet to the north that was previously approved in the last plan development. So they're just moving that monument sign. Again, further details on that would be in the, uh, the final development plan. They would also like to note that they will be adding a uh, widening the drive uh, to the south end of the development, um, which is actually accessing up to their wrestling facility, on the south end, and that is also shaded in gray. Uh, that would be under PD number one. And they title that the Education and Performing Arts Facility plan development. Everything is pretty much on that in terms of the lots and then what they like to do. So I think I delineated all the little, um, all the aspects of the general plan in terms of the combined lots, uh, the parking lot, and then the width of the driveway being extended and also the sign. The one thing I have left out is also noting that they have another lot that's part of the plan development uh, from last year, but is not included in this major revision. And you'll note that is 2.54 acres and lot 11282, 11282. Uh, at this time, they are not uh, asking any revision or change to that. So the rest of the staff report that goes into the general plan standards. Uh, since this is a uh, just a change to existing PD, um, I will tell you that the general plan, uh, look at the comprehensive plan, is consistent. It's also consistent with the zoning code. The use uh, again is consistent, even in the R five religious and institutional educational. Uses are consistent in the even residential zones. And there are utilities being served by the city to the, to the site. Uh, there's also a section A through F under zoning code, um, pretty much on the same type of thing. So I'm just going through that. And then to finally, to the end here, um, due to the straightforward nature, we're not requesting a, uh, public hearing at planning commission level, since it's a major revision to the existing development. And we're recommending that planning commission recommend to city council to approve the request for the major change. I'll Thank take you. Questions. Um, a couple of questions. The uh, signage that was going to be moved, is that going to be a lit sign or an unlit sign? We don't have details on that. We'll certainly get those for the final plan. And how about the lighting of the parking lot? Uh, again, our that will yeah, also maybe. be looked at in the final plan. Okay. Uh, there, I think there's lighting required after so many spaces. So I know there is also lighting nearby from a pole, so that might also serve. Will the uh, lighting shield the uh, neighboring residences? Yeah, we'll definitely make sure that the buffering, landscaping, the uh, lighting plan uh, will be sensitive to adjacent property and residential. Anyone else have questions of staff? Mr. Chair. Yes, Mr. Titterington. So uh, the only thing that Planning Commission and Council is acting on the major change, the major revision is the addition of 466 South Dorset as a parking lot extension of the park. Right. Anyone else have questions of staff? I'll move that we not hold a public hearing. I'll second that. There's a motion to second. Any further discussion not to hold a public hearing? Please call the roll and an affirmative response is not to have a public hearing. 
Mayor. Yes. Mrs. Ehrlich. Yes. Mr. Titterington. Yes. Mr. Westmeyer. Mr. Westmeyer. Yes. 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 Mr. Cappers. Yes. Mr. McGarry. Yes. Mr. Wolke. Yes. Approved. Okay. We won't have a public hearing at the Planning Commission level. Any action the uh, Planning Commission wants to do to recommend this uh, to Council? I'll move that we recommend uh, approval to Council. Second. Yeah, that's a, and a second by Mr. Westmeyer. Any further discussion? Okay, to make a positive recommendation to Council concerning this matter, please call the roll. This is early. Yes. Mr. Titterington? Yes. Mr. Westmeyer? Yes. Mr. Cappers? Yes. Mr. McGarry? Yes. Mr. Wolke? Yes. Mayor? Yes. Approved. Okay, does staff have anything else to come before the commission today? Uh, no, we don't. Thank you. Okay, do commission members want to discuss anything further? If not, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. First, to move. Mr. Westmeyer made a motion to adjourn. Anyone second it? Second. I'm sorry, who said that? The mayor. Mayor. Okay. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? We stand adjourned. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.